apologize for being retarded here. I am I completely killed my stream, killed Dota, killed everything basically. So now that it's all fixed, we can uh, go ahead. Um, analyze the lineups here really briefly. We see that Clockwork picked up for the offlaner for NXS. I haven't seen them run the Clockwork before. I'd really like to see it do well. Really exciting thing. I like to watch him. He's a fun hero to observe, fun hero to see. See Warlock picked up by Trolls are winning. So another really good kind of exciting hero that we don't get to see very often. That Warlock ultimate, all very underestimated in terms of of its effectiveness in team fights, as well as like fatal fatal bonds, it's just an insanely overpowered skill. Going to introduce these players. You got Jack playing the warlock there, support role. Gloves of haste. No, forget. I take it back. He's going solo mid warlock. I love this. This is awesome. Friend of zombies playing that undying because undying is a friend of some zombies. Squish Puddin playing the chaos knight. Talos on the bounty hunter. He should be going up to the safe lane. Probably going down with him to ward. And then Coddle being handled by Confection. Over on the radiant side, we see. Icon playing this clockwork, and I, I cannot wait to see what he does with this clockwork. It's going to be pretty freaking exciting. See Caillou down here on the mid lane with Gyrocopter, just leaving some iron branches on the ground. Probably just a joke there. Headed out to the safe lane is Wagwan Cuz on the Phantom Lancer. You better be careful because there's four Dire Heroes smoked up rotating down to catch him out. Supports haven't made it out yet. Shark you silly on the Shatter Demon and GDD headed out that direction, but n haven't quite made it there yet. And it looks like Phantom Lancer is going to get spotted out by the Undying, but he's going to be able to back up to the tower safely. No engagement should happen just yet. Over here, we're going to see Leshrac. Looks like... Is he going to be... Sorry. It looks like Leshrac, yeah, he's going to be killing some trees here, either using some tangos there to make pulling on the mid lane possible. They're going to leave Phantom Lancer to solo? Hmm. That's a really... Hum. I don't know if I've seen that before. So, maybe they're just going to leave Shattered Demon down there on the bottom lane. And put Shattered... No, they're putting Shattered Demon up top with Clockwork. Are they leaving Phantom Lancer? No, Phantom Lancer's going top. He saw the tri lane. And they're moving. So it's going to be Bounty Hunter solo against a Phantom Lancer. And the Shattered Demon. So Phantom Lancer ought to be able to get farm here. He's actually going to use his Lance to get a last hit there. Doesn't want to miss one. I mean, those last hits are incredibly important. He's going to go ahead and start right-clicking down some of his own creeps. Bounty Hunter has to back off. question is, the Dire tri -Lane going to rotate? Because I'm pretty sure they've really wanted to shut down that Phantom Lancer. Of course, shutting down the Clockwork is going to also be pretty important. Clockwork just using his rocket to get some farm here. I mean, with the Chaos Knight undying... You kind of have to assume that that's going to be an aggressive tri lane. I don't know why they expected the safe lane tri lane. I mean, CK excels at aggressive tri lane. Coddle does really well in aggressive tri lanes. Undying exists for the sake of aggressive tri lanes. I mean, seriously, come on. What else are they going to do? Mid lane is here what I'm interested in. It's going to be Gyrocopter versus Warlock. And if two months ago you had asked me if I'd ever thought that I would see a, gy a Gyrocopter Warlock matchup in mid, I would have told you that you were crazy. This is awesome. I love Warlock as a solo mid hero. Fatal Bonds is an excellent spell on that mid lane. Warlock probably just going to pop some shadow word here. Looks like Gyrocopter wants to go in, but Warlock just going to kill it, and in fact he's going to bring this Gyrocopter very low. Level 3 hasn't taken very many of his points yet, though. Actually, he took a level of stats first, so he's got a level of stats up already as well as that Glove of Haste just to give himself a little bit more power bringing down this missile, and he's just been able to kill all of them. Now on the top lane, it does look like the Radiant, the Dire Tri lane is rotating in. Last Track Sun's going to hit, though. Bounty Hunter is visible. They have the ward up, but it doesn't look like he'll be going down. Now it looks like the chase is going to be going the other way. Chaos Knight doesn't have the mana for a stun. There, he's going to get mana. Go ahead and toss the stun at the Shadow Demon. Two second stun, not enough. I'm sure I'm going to have to back off. Coddle Blast coming through, getting everybody low. 
And now the push could go with that undying tombstone dropped. Rocket headed up to the top lane, just to slow the push down a little bit. Warlock picking up an Invis rune headed back mid. I don't know if he's going to be able to get anything accomplished. It's not like he has a stun. Now that it's just Clockwork versus Bounty Hunter, Bounty Hunter ought to be able to do a lot better, and so should Clockwork, so... Both of them going to have to have a very strong presence ganking for their teams come mid-game. And I mean, I gotta give the mid-game advantage to the Dire. I mean, with a Warlock Ultimate, with an Undying, with a Chaos Knight, you really, I mean, you just have to say that the Dire are so much stronger in this mid-game. I mean... Phantom Lancer, a strong carry, but doesn't do as well in the mid-game. Shatter Demon does well at all stages of the game because of those illusions, but, I mean, he's never a gigantic contribution. He's always kind of just, you know, a pretty big thing that you have to worry about, not like someone who changes the course of a battle, except in rare cases where his disruption is just humongous. Whereas Coddle, that early mid-game, that blast does so much work. CK, those stuns, that burst damage does so much work. And Warlock, that ultimate in the mid-game is just absolutely massive. Speaking of which, Warlock going to eat a missile. It's okay, he's got Shadow Ward. He's actually probably going to get more health than when he started out. Bottom lane, we see Clockwork and Bounty Hunter just kind of exchanging some blows. Bounty Hunter, I think, getting the better in these trades. Already two points up into the Janata, so every time he hits, he hits pretty hard in terms of just right-clicking and doing some damage. But this Clockwork's also got plenty of burst damage himself. Three points into the Rocket Flare already. And if he gets a Battery Assault off where he gets a couple channels off after... Oh no, Downy Hunter wants to go in. He's getting the right clicks in. There's a rocket. Now here comes Battery Assault. This is going to be a man fight out to the death. Clockwork, no, doesn't have the mana for the battery. He's going to salve up. He'll be alright. Survives. Now Bounty Hunter's going to have to buck up. He's got no health left. He can try to go in for it. There's the right click, but he's going to have to back off. Here comes a rocket. No. Yeah, there's the rocket. First blood goes to Icon. A little advice. Looks like a smoke ink coming into the mid lane. There comes a disruption, followed up by the Leshrac stun and hitting immediately. Gyrocopter missiles coming. I mean, it's not necessary. This is a very dead warlock. Two kills already going the way of the Radiant. Winning both the mid lane and the bottom lane. Here comes Phantom Lancer actually back to the bottom lane now. Rotating for a second time this game. Trying to get some farm up here. He's going to go ahead and stack this camp. Already has Tranquil Boots up, but no significant farm other than that. Only 15 last hits in 5 minutes. Really has not been doing having a good time on that top lane. Chaos Knight, though, also kept to 15 last hits. The real farmers so far are the Gyrocopter and the Clockwork, who has really been getting the better of this Bounty Hunter in terms of last hits. As the boss goes down, I'm going to go ahead and finish off that ice cream cone so you guys won't be bothered by it anymore. I apologize for that. Personal flair. Hey, casters are people too. We need ice cream just like everybody else. <laughs> Jack has gone ahead and pulled after losing that kill in the mid lane. I mean, there's nothing he could do. It was a smoke gank. Got past the ward. That radiant ward in exactly the right place to prevent that kind of stuff. Looks like Clock going to have to back off. We'll see Bounty Hunter trying to establish a foothold in this bottom lane again. He's going to have to get just some levels. He really doesn't even need anything more than that. He was trying to go for possibly a little greedy kill against... Like, when he went in the first time, it was cool, but when he went in the second time with no health left and low enough that he would have taken damage definitely from the... Um, Rocket. I mean, he was just dead. I don't know why he decided to do that. Mid lane, we're going to see a big engagement going down. Looks like a Warlock ultimate gets dropped, killing Shatter Demon, and then Undying rotates in as well to finish off the Gyrocopter. So two kills immediately going directly back the way of the Dire. And like I said, they've got this massive mid-game combo. 
coming from the Undying Tombstone, who is now level 5, by the way, got 3 points already up into that decay, and has he got a level stats, or has he just not spent a point? I guess he's just not spent a point. Has not taken, yeah, he goes ahead and gets a point of Soul Rip. Warlock, already up to level 7, he's got 271 gold, as well as a Midas, actually, so this is a Midas Warlock, farming it up. I'm going to see him probably rush that Agonim Scepter into the Refresh Orb. I mean, what else do you farm up on a Warlock? He's definitely getting plenty of last hits. Oh, Clockwork jumps in from the back, gets the gets off his cogs. Here comes the Gyro Ultimate as well. That's definitely going to be a kill. Friends of Zombies tries to rotate in to save his friend. Unfortunately, he's going to end up falling as well. That's two kills for the mid lane. Did Clockwork die, or what did he do? Did he just teleport out? Where did he, oh, he ro rotated down into the trees. Has Mana Boots already up on this clock. Bounty Hunter tried to rotate in, but he was too late as well. Top lane, though, CK getting as much farm as he wants. Right-clicking the tower down. Got Coddle behind him as well. Up to, looks like he may be going for a Midas, possibly. Either that, or he might just waiting a little bit longer before he picks up, picks up his treads. Those treads, pretty important. Give him the ability to toggle for mana. Give him, also give him the ability to pick up some to uh, it's extra taking this extra attack speed to proc more crits top tower is under you know attack. good stuff like that anyway take a salve as well hope that doesn't get cancelled by a rocket that would be really bad mid lane mid tower has gone down to the radiant we're gonna see jack having a little bit more problem now farming on his warlock i mean farming warlock what am i gonna say i hope this works because it's freaking awesome it needs to happen everywhere but I don't, I don't know. Looks like Nexus getting together for a push on the top lane. Is this a Shadow Blade? Or is this just an Invis Rune? It is an Invis Rune, and he's going to come up behind the tower here, waiting for an opportunity to dive. Clockwork looking for an opportunity to hook in. There it goes, but Hook is going to miss. There goes the stun on the Leshrac. He's going to get brought down. No, excellent defensive disruption. Looks like Coddle's going to be the one immediately bursted down. Squish Puddin trying to get out. Goes back into the trees, but there's no way out there. He's going to end up going down. Uh, tries to get the Juke off. Unfortunately, gets brought down. Double kill for the Gyrocopter. Now, it looks like rest of the Dire Squad are just going to have to wait for an opportunity. Did they see Warlock? No, I think he's, you know, he wasn't visible. Looking for him. He dodged that vision from the rock. From the uh, rock. It looks like attempted push here from the Bounty Hunter as well as the Undying. They're not going to be able to get it off. So now Warlock's just going to come up and farm. Looks like he might get spotted out, though. There's no... I don't think there's vision. He's just going to hide up in the trees. Wait for an opportunity to drop his ultimate TP in from the Chaos Knight. This is the time, I guess. Oh no, immediate Leshrac stun. Shadow Demon coming in. There's the Fatal Bonds going down on the Shadow Demon. This should be a very dead Shadow Demon. Where's the stun? There's the stun. Only a couple right clicks. All it's going to take. There he goes. That's one kill going the way of the Dire again. Even on kills now. See Shadow Word being used to heal up the Warlock again. Looking to pick up the Bount... The Clockwork. Trying to get up to him. I don't think they'll be able to. They do still have this Warlock ultimate, so I think they can push. Even... I mean, Bounty Hunter rotates up here. No, he's going to rotate bottom and prevent the Phantom Lancer push. Going to go ahead and drop a track on this Phantom Lancer. He's going to come forward. Did Phantom Lancer die? Yeah, he did. Phantom Lancer went down to, I guess, the Undying and the Bounty Hunter. Apologize for missing that. That's a pretty big, important kill as Phantom Lancer keeping him down. He's going for a drum build. Interesting. I don't see that very often. It's, of course, I mean, it's a good item on him. It gives him some necessary strength to tank up his illusions as well as some attack speed for his illusions as well from that aura. Taylor's taking a lot more damage here probably than he wants to. Just dropping as much as he can on Phantom Lancer. Does he want to man fight this out? That's not a good idea. You're not going to win that. Yeah, you're, you're not going to win that. I don't know why he thought he was going to win that. Keep playing in the meantime, picking off the clockwork on the top lane. Now there's four dire heroes up here. Warlock ultimate. Oh, here's Darkopter. Another Invisorin coming in the back. If he can get a good ult off here. That could be massive in terms of winning this team fight at the tower. Is he going to drop it? Waiting for an opportunity. Shadow Demon and Leshrac forced pretty far back. They can't really go in here. Sh Leshrac at half health. There comes the Gyro ultimate, but everyone's already gone. I don't think they'll be able to get any kills here. Gyrocopter, of course, he can just spam that. It's only a 50 second cooldown. 55 seconds at level 1. Excuse me. I mean, you can just use that Gyrocopter ultimate whenever. It doesn't even have to hit a lot of people. Just do some damage. That's all you really expect out of it. Looks like Bounty Hunter goes back in on the Phantom Lancer. Now that Phantom Lancer has half health, this might work out a little better this time. It's going to do some right-click damage. Phantom Lancer going to get behind the tower. I don't think Bounty Hunter can dive this. Yeah, he really can't. He's going to have to back off. 
But here comes the Chaos Knight. That could be the extra X Factor that they need to kill this Phantom Lancer. They've got the track on it, but here come TPs and Leshrac coming in immediately. There's a stun. Phantom Lancer is going to fall here, and I think this is worth it already, even if Bounty Hunter dies. Splitter is going to hit the Chaos Knight, though. He can't go down. Here comes Friend of Zombies. going to drop the Decay. Leshrac possibly getting a little low. That Edict doing so much work, though. He's getting right click TP in from the Gyrocopter now. Leshrac's already dead, though. Shadow Demon comes in as well. Looks like he'll be able to kill us off this Bounty Hunter. Gyrocopter gets the Chaos Knight as well. Looks like it's just on dying back in the back here. It has no TP scroll, no way out. Is doing some wonder jukes. Buyback from the bounty hunter. He's coming back in. Wants to get more kills. Hook gonna miss from the clockwork. Looks like no TP out from the warlock. Gonna be successful. Use the ultimate in that. No, did not use the ultimate in that engagement. Used it earlier up top. I, I remember that. So he's just gonna come back out. I mean, without his ultimate, he's not as not nearly as much of a hero. He's just gonna continue farming. Looks like he's going straight into that Ganem Scepter. 900 gold up on him already. Just not even stopping to say hello. He's just going straight for that. Clockwork goes ahead and finish off the Bounty Hunter again. Getting another kill there on the bottom lane. Bounty Hunter just bought back too, so he's going to be probably very unhappy about that second death. Coddle channeling the blast, trying to slow down this push, but here comes a Lance, here comes a Rocket, and he's going to have to back off and think about channeling that blast again. Armlet finish on CK now. He's actually getting pretty farmed. Cogs used to keep people back just to finish off this tower. Looks like Undying might be in trouble. Here comes a rocket barrage. Hit some creeps. I think he'll go down. No, he's got lit. Survives with barely any health. Now it looks like CK wants to go in, but he's alone. He's going to get hit by the gyro ultimate. He falls to the clockwork. Second kill for clockwork. Here comes a... No, Coddle doesn't have the mana for a blast. Undying wants to go in, but he's got no health. Here comes Warlock. Does he have the ultimate? He does. Massive ultimate. He's going to hit a couple. Undying does fall to the clockwork, though. Looks like Leshrac will go down here. He's so low. Just a couple more damage. He's going to get it with the Fatal Bonds, and now it looks like Shattered Demon falls as well. Double kill for the Warlock. Getting pretty big here. Clockwork using some creeps to get away with his ultimate there. It becomes an escape mechanism. I mean, come on. Looks like the tower push is going to go now. Warlock going to use the heal to keep people alive. Yep, goes ahead and pops it. He's got a golem as well, so this tower should definitely fall here. They've got the siege creep also, so tons of right-click damage to bring down a tower. So tower so far even. Two for two. Kills within two. Let's see who's farming better. Experience craft, 2,000 in favor of the Radiant, but that's dipping down as the Dyer just won a team fight. In terms of gold, also dipping down a little bit of a favor there. If the Dyer can really get these track kills going, it's going to be a massive bonus for them. Really just need to make sure that they get those track kills off. Top lane, we're seeing Phantom Lancer and Gyrocopter coming up, trying to push this top tower at last. They've made two attempts before. Now with the Warlock ultimate down, I don't feel that the Dyer can really defend. Fatal Bonds is strong, but it's not going to be strong enough. TP in for the Bounty Hunter. He's just going to go ahead and invis right back out. He's got a missile on him. Do they have a gem? I don't think they have a gem. Do they have any sentries? I don't think they do. Undying's the one in trouble, though. He's back there. He's going to get bursted down. He's got so... He's so tank. Not quite tank enough. Gyro ultimate's going to make sure that he absolutely does not get away. Coddle Blast, though. Oh, jump forward from the clock. We're hitting the Coddle. This is a very dead Keeper of the Light. I'm sorry, Gandalf. Your days are numbered. They see Bounty Hunter, too. They get the, the Purge down on him. I think that Purge is invisibility. No, it doesn't, but there's a Dust. He's definitely dead. Three kills already. Up to a five-kill lead now for the Radiant. Warlock backing up, using Fatal Bonds to slow down the push, but Fatal Bonds isn't as effective if it latches onto those. Actually, never mind. It's just as effective if it latches onto those illusions. I take it back. <laughs> Using that failed monster to slow down the push, but it might not be enough. You know, I really didn't expect the Dire Radiant to be doing this well. There's the pull in. There's the stun. Four seconds stun. This might be enough to bring him down. There's the Fatal Bonds up as well. This is a very dead Warlock. Even just from killing those creeps, Warlock was dead. Now it looks like Leshrac's going to be the second one to fall. Unfortunately, Chaos Knight's getting very low. He's going to end up going down, and Warlock might be next. He gets hit by the Shadow Word. Disruption goes down against... I think that's... Yeah, that's the Undying. Looks like the rest of the Radiant are just going to try to run away. Cog's being used. Looks like they ought to be able to get out here. Clockwork doing as much as he can. Phantom Lancer gets it away in Viz with only 300 health. 400, excuse me. Yeah, he's going to make it off. He's got that drum to get him some distance there. Dyer trying to give chase, but they're not going to do it. I figure they should just go back. Get some more farm up on the Bounty Hunter. Get some more farm up on that Warlock. Finish up that Ag Scepter, man. You're only 600 gold away. You get a 60 minute... He's going to have a 20 minute Ag on Warlock. He has an Ag. I take it back. Holy crap. A 16-minute Agonim Scepter on Warlock. Question is, is this going to be enough? I mean, it's kind of a silly question. He's got a Midas and an Agonim Scepter, but, I mean, it's, it's a Warlock. 
Looks like the push is now going the other way. Warlock Ultimate is up, and it's got two golems, man. He's dropping two golems. I mean, that's a big thing. Golems are pretty important, man. The Shrek's Stun gonna miss everything. Looks like the Creep Wave is down. Haste Rune seen spotted out by the Phantom Lancer. He's just gonna use his illusions to split push. Undying, you might be in the wrong spot there. If he can get picked off... No, they're gonna use the missile on the Warlock. He's gonna go ahead and right-click it down, I think. Yeah, no, he's gonna take the stun. It's all right. Very little damage. No, but Leshrak's stun to follow it up. Here's a Gyrocopter ultimate. This is a massive team fight. Here comes a humongous ultimate from the Warlock. That's gonna finish off everybody, but three already dead for the Dire. I don't think it's gonna be enough. Even this Ag, Ag Stick is not doing enough work. Ultra kill for the Gyrocopter. Now he's getting chased by Warlock Golems, but he might just be able to finish them off. Now Warlock wants to come back in. Here comes the Bounty Hunter, though. He can do some damage to Warlock. Yeah. Ends the dominating streak. Now it looks like Bount Clockwork wants to chase, but you can't chase against the golems, man. It's a bad idea. It's gonna finish off two posthumous kills there. Fortunately, not getting the experience, but definitely getting the gold. And I mean, hey, I'll take it. I wouldn't argue with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and right click down. They don't give as much bounty when there's two of them, so let's try and drop an edict to try and finish them off. But he's just gonna take a bunch of damage. We'll get a kill though. He's just going to try to come in. No, not going to be able to get the kill. Warlock goes down. So, feeding that 150 gold, but I mean, it's 150 gold in the grand scheme of things. And it half killed two supports. I mean, you really can't argue with it. And that's just, that's what a rush to Gotham Scepter does on Warlock. It's, it's pretty freaking strong. Now, granted, Dyrocopter also got an ultra kill, but hey, Warlock did work. Got that Midas up. Looks like he is going directly into the Refresh Orb, and I mean, he's going to have it before too long. And it's like... I want to say, what are the Radiant going to have that answers up to a Warlock double ult? But then I think about it, and I'm like, it's a Warlock. I think they can handle it. I mean, Phantom Lancer, by that time, is going to have a Diffusal Blade, which is one option already. You can just get rid of those Golems. And then the second thing is that he'll just be have, have a freaking heart. He'll be, so free, he'll be so tank that it's not going to matter. Fails this creep stack there. It's going to keep continue farming anyway. Here comes a stun down on Clockwork. Gyrocopter's here, though. This could be not as good. Here comes a giant Gyrocopter ultimate. Going to hit everybody. Undying, not tank enough, not high enough level. He's going to fall to the Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter getting a double kill again. Just people are not able to survive enough. Looks like he will go down to the Bounty Hunter, though. Bounty Hunter getting back in, but he's going to get hit by Clockwork Hook. Looking to go down. I think, yeah, he is going to fall here. Warlock, the only one to survive. He's not even there on top lane, just solo pushing. He's like, you guys, I'm going to go push. You guys need to stop team fighting. It's not working, damn it. And so he's just going to take this tower, probably. TP in from Final Answer to defend. Warlock's going to TP back to defend mid. I don't know if he'll be able to defend this mid tower solo without an ultimate. If he had an ultimate, this could be an ultra kill right here, but unfortunately, no ultimate. It's going to get disrupted as well as Soul Catcher. Tower's going to fall. Here comes some damage coming in. He's got to be able to... He's just... I mean, he's got the... He's got Fail of Bonds down. He can drop Creep Waves pretty quickly. Coddle Blast as well. Unfortunately, all oh, Phantom Lancer gets the Diffusal Blade. That means free 75 gold every time Warlock uses the ultimate. I mean, provided they can't burst down the Phantom Lancer, that's going to be the only way to keep him from getting that free gold. I mean, Warlock's getting big, but I just... I mean, he's a Warlock. What's he going to do? Chaos Knight needs to also get big. Chaos Knight looking to build up, finish up a drum after that armlet. And get some more attack speed, more early game relevance. And I mean, he's not like it's doing. he's doing bad. He doesn't have last hits. Only 40 last hits. He's only got one kill, too, actually. He's, he's one in six. I'll take it back. Chaos Knight really not having a good early game. We'll have to see if he can recover from this somehow. And I mean, it's hard to recover against the Phantom Lancer because Phantom Lancer, just about the king of recovery, comeback farm. He's got so much ability to flash farm so quickly. Now that he's got a Diffusal Blade up, it's just going to be so hard to kill him. It's going to be so hard to, like... Bring him down, track him down. Keep Gyrocopter picking off the Coddle up on the top lane. He's going to get chased, but I don't think there's anything that can happen to him. Looks like the Dyer want to group up and push mid again, but Phantom Lancer's going to take your top tower. It's going to fall. Look at it. It's gone. They're going to rotate up. Can they catch him? I don't know if they can catch him. They're going to have to have dust. Does Dyer have dust? They, have no they do have a Sentry Ward, but he looks like he'll be able to get out. He's getting flanked. He needs to TP now. Here comes the Undying. He's going to go back into the woods. Using the Quellum Blade to get out? Is he gonna, are they going to be able to catch him? They, sh they need to find him. Bounty Hunter trying to find him down here, but no, he's going to get into the trees, and he's going to make it out just fine. 
TP's coming in top lane. They're going to reverse this push, but now the push is going mid lane. It's really not looking good for the Dyer right now. Experience gra gold shows that they're 10,000 in deficit, and the gold graph 7,500, even with a Midas Warlock, just not able to farm enough. Denying tower does get denied, so that is a bonus for the Dyer. A small victory, but it's not going to be enough to end up saving them in the long run, I don't think. Oh, Dyer's Courier falls. Where was that? Not the chicken, man. Not the chicken. So unfortunate, man. That chicken. Rockets being used. Push coming up on the high ground. Rady being a little aggressive here, but they're allowed to be. They've got a family answer. Split pushing top with illusions. They're farming out the enemy jungle. I mean, they're in a position to do this. Now, the problem is we've got an ultimate, a warlock. Not quite with the double ultimate, but definitely with... A, a double with two golems I accept a warlock is never something to underestimate especially when he does have like the coddle last that's gonna come down on top of it I mean here is he gonna get it set up is the question he's gonna go ahead and drop a fatal bonds and that creep wave as it gets brought down is gonna do a lot of damage to this Leshrac that's just what fatal bonds does incredibly strong spells all of warlock spells in fact are really strong upheaval really strong shadow word pretty darn strong Almost a 450 damage heal after a while. <laughs> Seeing Phantom Lancer continue to farm out that enemy jungle. The question is can the enemy find him? Bounty Hunter looking for people. He's going to find the Gyrocopter. Is he just going to go in here? He's going to drop a track, but he's not going to be able to do anything else. Zombies and the uh, CK not able to get into position to take him out. J looks like both of these guys, Warlock and the CK, are trying to get the rest of their farm up. CK has finished off the drum. Still no treads on him, though. Looks like here's Phantom Lancer. Can we get a track up on him? Yeah, there's the track. Track? No, no track. Track is late. You're going to track the wrong one. Man, Bounty Hunter, you're slow. That's not good. Here comes the Gyrocop. Oh, man, they're coming. here comes the Radiant in. Ba hook in from the... Clockwork already Shadow Demon picking off the Bounty Hunter. Clockwork ult. I'm sorry, the Jackhams are doing work. Here comes a massive Warlock ult, though. He's low, though. Can they survive long enough to get a couple of kills? Warlock healing himself up, trying to run away, but I don't think it's going to be enough. He gets purged up by Diffusal Blade. It's going to bring him down. That's a team wipe from the Radiant there, and as a result, should probably know. I'm dying finishing off the is Radiant having more difficulty fighting zombies and golems than they are fighting enemy team members. Looks like, oh no, those right clicks from the golems doing so much damage. Golem is going to die though. It looks like Phantom Lancer in the meantime is going to go try and take out this top tower. He's got an army of illusions coming up here. Can Coddle slow him down? He's going to channel the blast. But this Phantom Lancer already level 15. Two points into the ultimate means that those illusions have a 15 per extra 15% magic resist. Bounty Hunter comes in, try to get some farm up. He's got Phase Boots as well as a Ring of Basilius. Not nearly enough. Probably hoping to get a Vlad's at some point. Chaos Knight needs to finish off... A Chaos Knight needs to finish off his treads as well as getting a big item. Maybe a Heaven's Halberd just to deal with the Phantom Lancer right click. I don't know, he needs something. Just to prevent taking so much damage. Something to tank up so that he can do some of that crazy Chaos Knight burst damage from the Phantasm Reality Rift combo. Looks like the bottom tier 2 tower going to get brought down by the Radiant here. We'll get denied by the Warlock. Warlock going to come in, right clicking that Shadow Demon. Can he get, he's got a Shadow Word against him as well as some track, extra move speed. But here comes a Gyrocopter ultimate coming in. There's the dust pop by Shadow Demon before he dies. Clock jumps in as well. No, he didn't jump in. I think he got blocked by an Ancient. Never mind. Gyrocopter going to be in trouble now. Like it's getting right clicked down. There's a Coddle Blast knocking him forward, wrong direction, and... Cogs are going to mean that this chase is over. So in the end, it's a Shadow Demon for a Bounty Hunter. Not the best trade. Haste Room picked up by this Clockwork now. And he's going for that Acceptor. After finishing a pipe, he's got plenty of gold. Warlock farming up top. He's got... He's getting close. He's only about, um, I want to say, 1,700 gold shy of a Refresh Orb. And once he gets it, if the Dyer can get a good team fight off, they might be able to come back into this. But it's going to be really dependent on that, and it's going to be dependent on 
we're not getting a lot of farm, and I mean, it's not like he's a good hero to farm. He, he's a little bad at it, actually. He's not very, not very, doesn't have an escape mechanism. Doesn't have anything to clear creep waves with beyond fatal bonds, which has a 25 second cooldown. And, now, no points into upheaval yet. Doesn't want to sit in channel. He wants to be able to move around, and I feel that that upheaval could be pretty big in these team fights if he would take a couple points into it. It's the, one of the biggest slows in the game, almost getting up to 100% after a while. Uh, over 100%, actually. It depends on how you do it. Um, upheaval, such a strong slow, maxing at 84%. And it just does absolutely tons of work in these team fights when it comes to just making sure that people don't move, holding people in position for a Chaos Knight to whack. Chaos Knight is getting close to finishing those treads. Needs another 400 golds for those. And then we'll have to see what he decides to build next. Warlock, oh man, it's going to be a Roche Pit fight. Wagwin Cuz already in there on the PL. He's going to go back and visit. Undying wants to come in. They go straight into the Roche Pit, but no one's yet in there. This is a bait and switch. Question was, Clock going to jump in? Gyrocopter comes in the back. That might end up being a mistake. No, he's going to finish off the Warlock, it looks, before he... No, not quite before Warlock gets the ultimate off. And that's going to be enough to finish off Icon, I think. No. Too much move speed. Clock OP need nerf. Looks like Chaos Knight, the next one to fall. Bounty Hunter making it away invisible on the t up on the top of your screen here. And man, that's just unfortunate. Gyrocopter manning it up, taking out some Warlock Golems just for some extra farm. Bounty Hunter going to come in, and he's got to be careful. He's just going to die doing Pulse as well as an Edict. The question is, can he get it? No. Does, he does get the last hit on the Roche, so that is extra golden experience for him. Unfortunately, he also died. Phantom Lancer got the Aegis there, so... Pretty good play, just not as good as it could have been. They, I bet they were expecting it. Blackwind Colors is just waiting to pick up that Aegis. You can see he probably already dropped something. Actually, probably sold it a little bit earlier on. Phantom Bounty Hunter did get a couple levels out of that, though. Got solo EXP for that Roche. And now here comes the push. Aegis up on Phantom Lancer. He's going to go ahead and come. He's not afraid at all. He's got a massive experience advantage right now. He's got tons of farm advantage as well. Bounty Hunter jumped. I'm sorry, Clockwork jumps right in. Goes onto the... getting Locking in the two dire supports. Followed up by a Gyrocopter ultimate. Massive damage. We're all getting slowed down, brought down by the purge. Is he gonna make it out alive? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, he's gonna fall. Now it looks like Chaos Knight's gonna be the next one, taking a lot of damage here. Four staff forward onto the Shadow Demon. Does he have a four staff? Holy crud, he's farmed. Four dead already. Bounty Hunter responds, but he's probably not gonna have enough. He wants to go in on somebody, but he's the whole he's one v five right now. I don't know if he can make anything happen. It's a big question mark. I mean, it would be pretty cool if he could. I doubt it though. It's pretty hard in that 1v5 situation to be effective bringing people down when there's a disruption, when there's a Lushrak stun, when there's a Clockwork Cog. Gyrocopter did go down, now granted he has been dying a lot, but he's also getting a ton of kills, a couple ramp, like ultra kill rampages, he's got a BKB up as well as a Shadow Blade. Undying wants to go in, but the damage is done, the Rax is down K being used, but he's just got Phantom Lancers, like forget this, I'm just going straight in I've got a heart and I've got an Aegis Forget this, man. I'm just gonna do it. Man up. Gotta get the kill there. Phantom Lancer. Aw, oh, Clockwork. Hook missing. Telescope's a demonic purge against him. He's gonna take a bunch of damage here. The Cottle Blast going back through. Question is, can they get a kill here? Warlock, no ultimate for another 10 seconds. Phantom Lancer's low. Even if they kill him, he has an Aegis. Clock gonna go ahead and jump straight in. Drops the cogs, pushing everybody back. And now it's just probably going to be the end of the engagement here. Warlock is really close to that refresher, though. He's only 400 gold shy of it. If he gets that up, that... I mean, I don't think it's going to be enough to say, but I just want to watch him drop a refresh Warlock ult at some point. Getting pulled back. Leshrac's going to fall here. That's one kill. TP in from the Undying as well. Looks like... Uh, Warlock got the kill, too, so he's... Yeah, he goes ahead and buys the recipe for the refresh. Here it is. He's got it up here. Is he going to do it now? Yeah, there's the first one. Refresh. There's the second one. It's going to hit on two. Pull back in onto this clockwork. He's going to fall. Now, Purge goes down against the Undying. He's getting slowed down. He can get the Shatter Demon. He's got a four staff. It's going to be hard to catch him. He's got the, the self disrupt too as well. No, he's going to fall. Here comes Gyrocopter trying to come in and do some work. Four golems on his tail. And Panel Lancer at this point is just like, fuck this, man. I got an Aegis. I'm just going to go use my Aegis to farm. War against creeps, man. It's getting brutal. Dracopter does manage to get away. He's got that Shadow Blade as well as the BKB, so he's pretty survivable. 
Gonna just continue farming it up. See, I have another big item in the works. Looks like he's getting Diffusal Blade as well. And while the orb effect will not um, stack with his flat cannon, it will, however, make sure that those golems really last a lot less long than they want to. Looks like he's getting searched for by Bounty Hunter. He's going to be able to TP out in time, though. Back. Probably going to have Diffusal Blade finished now. Yes, he does. So that's the second golem. Two golems going to get immediately purged away. But there's still another two. And, I mean... I think they should fix that. Maybe just do have it, the purge blade do half damage to Warlock, and then if they do that, he's just he'll be completely viable in a competitive setting. TP in, of course. Warlock has another long cooldown on this on his ultimate combo. I mean, granted, it's won them a team fight earlier, but it's going to be hard for them to continue winning team fights this way with that massive combo cooldown. Almost three minutes on the refresh orb and a. Five, another extra five seconds on the uh, chaotic offering, apparently. Not, um, whatever it was in Dota 1. That does not look familiar at all. What's the name of it in Dota 1? I can't remember off the top of my head. My one viewer, do you know what it is? If you do, go ahead and let me know. I forget what it was called in Dota 1, but it was definitely not chaotic offering. I think it was uh, Reign of Chaos, that's it. There we go. Oh, looks like the gyrocopter is going to get spotted. He's going to have to pop, pop the BKB to run away. That BKB is going to have a long cooldown now. A minute left before he has that. May want to wait for that to be back up before they go in. But no, the rest of the Radiant going in regardless. Lashrak trying to go high ground here. Looks like Chaos Knight just wants to go in, but looks like Clock's going to get a good hook off. He's going to go ahead and hit a couple gyrocopter ultimate to follow it up. Is there a, a Warlock ultimate? No, it's still down for another 20 seconds, and so while that cooldown is down, I don't think the Dire can really take this fight. Fatal Bonds is used, still no levels of upheaval. Phantom Lancer with a wicked 6 streak already. Warlock's still surviving, trying to get away, trying to do some work here in the meantime. He's just like, I don't even know what he's doing. Trying to get some kills, going to get disrupted. He has the ult. He's got the double ult, in fact. Is he going to do it? He's going to drop one of them, but he's going to die immediately afterwards. He can probably, no, no gold to buy back. Unfortunately, that's going to be a second Rax. That's probably GG. And by probably, I mean definitely. They may or may not call it as such, but it is GG. We're looking to buy back to come in and do another ultimate, probably. Maybe get the uh, Lesh Rack. Yep, there it is. Fresh Orb used. As well as that Fatal Bonds. Going to get the kill on... Can he get the uh, Lesh Rack too? He's taking damage from that Fatal Bonds. He is... And I mean, the question is, why is Phantom Lancer staying there taking damage when he's got Fatal Bonds? It might even kill off the Clockwork. <laughs> No, Clockwork a little bit too tank for that. Phantom Lancer going to get chased out. Fortunately, looks like the uh, Golems are a little bit too immune to that Clockwork Cog. And so they lose another Rax, but they did get a triple kill there, Warlock, I think. He died a second time, though. But hey, he got a double, triple kill or something. I don't know. Did he get a triple kill? Did. Triple kill. All the Fatal Bonds, man. It's such a strong spell. No, I mean, if he had upheaval... Yeah, Upheaval is such a strong slow. I mean, he probably needs Chaos Knight to be a lot tankier and a lot more front lines. Like, if Chaos Knight had twice the farm that he had, say, like, maybe he had a Heart or a Heaven's Halberd, he could go up and tank in that front line, and then he the uh, Warlock could sit back and channel the Upheaval while he let his Golems do the work. But it, that's not the case. Right now we're seeing that the Warlock is having to do all of the work. He's the highest level hero on his team, as you can see here. XP per minute. Where's here level? There it is. I mean, he's highest level on his team by a long way. CK down there at level 13. This massive experience advantage is just completely off the charts. Chaos Knight trying to get what he can together, but he's really just been so far behind this game. 1 in 10. Hasn't been able to have a big impact yet. Looks like they're defending that one bottom range for X. Gonna have to keep that one alive as now. It looks like Phantom Lancer just wants to push in. What kind of items does the PL have? Let's take a look here. He's got a butterfly now. I mean, he's just going to be completely unstoppable. Warlock gets jumped in on by the clockwork. This is going to be a very dead warlock, and I believe without him alive, without that fatal bond sandwich, they're not going to be able to take this team fight under any circumstances. Bounty Hunter going to get slowed down. He's visible as well. Going to get hit by the split earth, but they're not chasing him. They're chasing the rest of the team towards the fountain. Undying ultimate GG. Well played, sirs. Good luck at the tournament. There it is. It's called. GG goes. Gyrocopter getting low, but it doesn't matter. He'll be fine. Man up. He's gonna back off. Go ahead and go. Start attacking the racks. I gotta say, I really like the Warlock. I thought it could have worked. 
but he really needed what I don't think it was necessarily that the warlock did it did poorly. It's just that his CK and the rest of his bounty like bounty hunter weren't able to help him carry. I mean, warlock isn't a solo carrier. Like if he'd have been a different hero in the mid lane, like maybe a viper or a storm sphere, he could quant maybe he could have solo carried the game. But you can't do that on a warlock. You can try. It doesn't really work. Oh, Kai, you're getting so low. He's gonna fall. Darkopter ending up going down. Kai's back. Might as well. Just to TP in before the throne falls. Warlock ultimate. Is he gonna drop the double ult? I'm waiting for it. There's one. There's where's the second one? Uh, the game's gonna end before he drops the second ultimate. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. It's been a match from Alien Mary Arenas. Was Nexus Gaming formerly Art of Warfare versus Trolls are winning. So thanks for watching, guys. I go ahead, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Kudos out to the one guy who was watching on the live stream. You're cool. I like you. So, thanks for watching. GG's guys. Peace out.